Hello, it's Katrina at the Sewing Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these gorgeous little pocket tissue pouches. And these make a perfect last minute gift because they're so quick and easy to make. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So you need two pieces of fabric. So this is great for using up scraps as well. And your outside piece measures seven by five and a half. And your lining piece measures seven and a half by five and a half. So there's actually a half inch difference. So decide which fabric you want for this piece here for your lining. So decide which piece you want for that. And that is the bigger piece of the two. So I'm going to go over to the machine and I'm going to sew these. But what I'm going to do is, if I just move those, I might be able to show you better on this camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them right sides together and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down here. And then I'm going to pick that up and sew that edge. So effectively, I'm gonna have a little bit of baggy fabric on the back. And when I turn that through, that's what is going to create our little lining feature here. So let's go over to the machine and get started. So with right sides together, I'm just going to sew my first quarter inch seam. And then as I said, I'm going to pick it up. Let's see if I can show you on this camera better. And I'm going to line that up so that we have got this kind of extra bit at the back, but all will be revealed in a moment. So I'm going to turn that inside out. So if I do it like this, you might be able to see it better on this camera. And then I'm going to go over to the iron and you can see here that I've got this little ledge, which is our little bit of binding already sewn in, but I'm gonna give it a press. So I'm now going to press this and I'm going to press from the center and then I'm going to work outwards so that you can then see that the edge of the little bit of binding shows. I'm just gonna line that up a little bit better. So you can now see that you've got that little edge of binding there. The next thing to do is to press it in half. So I'm gonna press it in half so we find our center line and then we fold each of these edges into the center. So we're working with, we're going onto the right side of our fabric. So this is going to be the outside of our little tissue pouch. So we do that and pop a pin in. And then we bring the other one in like this and we pop a pin in. And then I'm going back to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew down each of these sides. So I'm just sewing down with a quarter of an inch, but you could, if you wanted to, you could zigzag this seam just to give it a bit more, well, to stop it fraying really, but I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. I've done that with mine and I find it works, but if you wanted to zigzag it, you could. And as I get to the middle part where the pieces are folded over, I'm just going to do a couple of back stitches and this just makes the piece that opens, it just gives it a little bit more strength. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're going to turn it through. So the other thing you could do if you haven't zigzagged this and you're a little bit concerned about it fraying is you could just take a pair of pinking scissors and you could carefully pink the edge. It's a bit tough that bit because there's a few layers of fabric and that would also help prevent fraying. But it's entirely up to you whether you zigzag or pink. And then all you do is you turn it through, giving your corners a little poke out. And I'm just gonna give it a little press to tidy it up. I'm just seeing what else I've got. Uh -huh. I'm just going to carefully push those corners out. I love these tweezers, they're perfect for this. Just gently push the corners out. And then I'm gonna give it a little press. And then I'm gonna pop some tissues inside. And there's your little tissue pouch. What you could do if you were making a gift for someone is you could applique a little heart here or you could embroider somebody's name on it. So there's lots you can do to personalise it. So it's a perfect little gift and you can see how quick it is for you to make it. So as always, make it your own, have fun and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time.